Do you have anterior pelvic tilt and back pain? If you're looking for the best sleeping position for anterior tilt, stay tuned. Hey, it's Matt Shu from Upright Health, where we help you move beyond your limitations so you can live with confidence. Be sure to check out the description box for links to our exclusive anterior tilt videos to help you fix your anterior tilt and for other helpful links. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe. If you've got anterior pelvic tilt and back pain, you probably look a little bit something like this. I actually got stuck in this position when I was in high school after a wave at the beach just bam, hammered me in the low back and spasmed up all my low back muscles. I basically couldn't control my spine anymore or address that pelvic position anymore and get it neutral. And my back just hurt all day long. So even when I went to sleep, it was uncomfortable and I couldn't get those muscles to relax. Even the muscle relaxants and the painkillers that the doctors gave me didn't really help. So what I'm gonna show you in this video is what actually helped relax those muscles in fact, when I first did this, it actually relaxed my muscles instantly, palpably, and was such a huge relief. So I hope you find it useful too. If you have anterior pelvic tilt, you've probably noticed that sleeping in bed doesn't really neutralize your pelvis. The muscles that need to relax don't relax because the bed's actually letting your pelvis go into more anterior pelvic tilt. If you're lying face up, what tends to happen is your butt kind of gets sunk down lower than your chest, which gives you more anterior tilt. And if you're lying face down, what you'll notice is that your belly starts to sink down and then you're again stuck into huge anterior pelvic tilt. So to fix this, you need to think about how to neutralize your pelvis. So to do that, what you can do is take a pillow or a blanket and if you're lying face up, you just stick it right under your knees. So now when you're lying there, you've elevated the knees just slightly. So now the femurs are helping your pelvis go back. Now, a lot of times with anterior pelvic tilt, you've got really tight quads, which would generally pull you into this super anteriorly tilted position. But since we've now lifted the knees, that gets to relax. The quads no longer have that death grip and the lower back is actually encouraged to just relax down and you can let those muscles just ease up all along the spine. This alone made such a huge difference to my back pain. I, I actually couldn't believe that nobody showed it to me sooner. Um, I could actually feel the back muscles just sort of like whoop, spasm, spasm, relax, relax, relax. So I hope you experience something that's just as gratifying. All right, so just a quick recap. If you are going to be sleeping on your back, stick the pillow or the blanket right under your knees so that your pelvis goes into a little more posterior tilt and gets you closer to neutral. If you're gonna be sleeping on your stomach, then you wanna move that blanket or pillow right under your belly and a little under your pelvis so that you can get a little more posterior tilt and let your lower back muscles relax so that everything feels neutral and you can drift off into neutral neutral dreams all right guys that's going to do it for this video be sure to go to the description box so you can check out our free fix anterior pelvic tilt videos and if you like this video click the like button subscribe to our channel and as always i hope you remember that pain sucks life shouldn't dude vincent i had the most neutral dream last night you wouldn't even believe it it was so neutral. <laughs> <laughs>